Bye, we've grown a week, Nitty Bond, everyone. My name's Coach Slonim, and welcome to Parasite Eve. Now, this is a sp special edition that I'm going to do for you guys, because this I'm calling the Strategy Guide Edition. See, in ye old days before internet, us people had to use strategy guides. But this one in particular, I bought for $10. So, and I've had it for years, as this is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it's probably the only game out of my top five that's not a technical survival horror. Like, this is survival horror, but it's not. You, you'll just have to see. Okay. We're going to do a new game. And as I said, we're doing the Strategy Guide Edition. So, we're going to be looking at the strategy guide as we do this. This is also a story game, so we will be recording so you guys can see the story. So, during the story, I will be reading ahead. And we are starting on day one, Resonance. We are playing as our hero is Aya. I forget her last name. Aya, Aya, Aya. I seriously, I forget her name. That's crazy. Aya Bray. Aya Bray is her name. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. We are at Carnegie Hall, by the way. Name, Aya Bray. Tw age, 25. Occupation, NYPD officer. I never changed her name because I think that's... Uh, I think that's bad for video game design to change your main character's name. Because I won't... I know it's to make you feel more interested, but I want characters that other people make more than mine. Because my characters, I feel like, would be dumber if I named them. I like Aya, because I would never thought of that. I... I don't know. I just... You're right. I'll try to have more fun. Also, I'm going to try to do all the voices for this game, which is going to be hard. So I'm not that talented at doing voices. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? Oh, never mind. That's not a voice for him. That's the boyfriend. Aren't you, aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad get us the best seat for tonight. So lighten up. We're going to have a great time. You'll see. Okay, i got to remember how to play. I have not played this game in years. I bought it when it came out on the PS3 again. I have not played it since uh, the PS3 release came out. Father, please give me permission to marry Eva. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. 
Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the death. She is evil. God, grab her. And burn her at the stake. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward! Also, this was top of the line back in the day. This was absolute top of the line graphics. You kids can set your mixtapes on fire, but you got nothing on Melissa Pierce. I think that's her name. Yeah, Melissa Pierce. See, I can remember Melissa Pierce, but I can't remember Aya Brea. Exclamation point! Jesus! I don't... I don't wanna... I... Oh my god! I... I... Go! Get out of here! Now! So here we go. This game took turn-based combat and spun it on its head. Because while this is a turn-based combat game, it's not. If that makes any sense whatsoever. As you're about to see right here. Freeze! NYPD! Humph. You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. What? What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're, they're calling out. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> What's happening? My body! It's getting hot! Well, you see, that's called, um, when you see someone that you really like. Hey, never mind. Just as I thought, thought! What was that? Just as I thought! What is this? What did you do to me? Alright, come on. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. See, this is what I mean by turn based combat. Pow. Pow. Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating? What? 
What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you will become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? What? What is this? What was that? <laughs> what? Wait! Where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Okay. So now we've got to chase her off stage and examine the big hole. I know she's down there. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Oh wait, it's a blocker over here. This always had some of the best gameplay, in my opinion. Now we have to run back to the entrance and talk to the paramedic. Gotta dodge the burned bodies. Wait! I'm a cop! I'm with the NYPD! I've clicked out of the game. What? Hold on. I'm gonna take out my badge. Don't shoot. My badge is between my boobies. See? I'm putting it back between my boobies. Right, talk to the paramedic, I believe. There's nothing there, it's just he heals me if I took damage, which I didn't. Then we gotta talk to one of these cops and they give me ammo. Alright. So now we have 60 bullets, correct? Yeah, 60 bullets in a club. Alright, now we get to go down into the big giant hole. <laughs> ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out why my recording stopped a second ago. It stopped, and now I can't put my webcam back up. It says my webcam is on, though. That's weird. It's left. It's right. Alright, here, in my opinion, is one of the coolest parts of the entire game, and it's the first five, ten minutes of the game. Not the little girl. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go.
That girl? It couldn't be. Yes, I, uh, it can be. That's no reason to check these doors yet. I don't even need to look at the strategy guide to tell that. Here we go. I always love this scene. That's what Eve's powers does to certain animals. And so you have an attack bar at the top. You can only attack a certain amount of times. Pow. Got it. Jesus, did Eve do that to that rat? What is going on here? He's examining his crotch. What's this key? The Yeta key. Can I please use the phone? I'd better notify the department about what's happened here. This is how you save, of course. Which, I always like that. She notifies the department to save. Alright, so we have three medicines. Club, ammo crate. Okay, we're, we're doing good. Can I please get by that? Okay, now we're supposed to check all of these places for items. If you would like, I'll, I'll I'm gonna skip ahead because there's nothing gonna happen except finding items. So I'm gonna skip ahead right here, and we'll be back when we decide to go to the next place. Uh, and we're back. This parrot decided to attack us. Ow. Alright, we got medicine from him. We better be safe and use that medicine. Wait, P. Restore 30 health. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. See, she has her own powers. Which can be used uh, for certain things. 
he heel has always been one of her best ones. But I will try. I'm probably gonna do this and then Resident Evil One, then Parasite Eve Two, then Resident Evil Code Veronica, and then Par uh, the third birthday, which is the third of this game. It was for PSP, so not a lot of people heard of it. But I bought a PSP just for that game. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's go talk to the caveman. Cave penis! You're still alive! Hold on, let me call the paramedics. Ma. Malisa. She's a monster. Don't try to talk now, Ma. Melissa? You mean the main actress? She's probably got to Suzanne too. You'll have to stop her. No, please wake up. Hang in there. Blech. And another five. There we go. See, this is how the fighting goes. Which I always had a lot of fun with. I think this is just the room we entered, wasn't it? Yes, it was. One of the strategies for this game is to stay here and grind out on these rats until you get, like, level 16... Here, take it. Take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident. You'll have to evacuate. <coughs> what? You're kidding me, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya! <coughs> I guess he is down here tonight. The sounds of these are killing me too. I hate the sound of metal scraping. more rats. Ow, oh, shit. Yeah, the closer you are to the enemy, the more damage you do, but then of course... The closer you are, also, the more they hurt. Open the chest. Okay, I guess you don't want to open the chest. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble.
in protection. And not change weapon, change armor. The in protector always is better. We can drop the in vest in here now. Two plus one offense on the pistol. Uh, one more room, and then we can go to the actress room. It's that clown from the dressing room. How can you tell? Uh, three rats here, correct? Yep, nope. Ah, oh, shit. Get rid of the bird first. Come on, let me use my PE. So you use PE to heal instead of your medicine when you can. <clears throat> there we go. Boom. Because you save up the medicine. Because the PE builds pretty quickly. I forgot is can you even go through this big door? No you can't, okay. <clears throat> so then through here. I think we're gonna have to fight two rats again, hopefully not. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, now they're here. It's locked. What? That's supposed to be it. Hang on. <clears throat> oh. Oopsie. There's something I've forgotten here. I'm supposed to read this journal. Uh, a diary. November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I've took all the medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. <clears throat> nope. November 18th. November 17th. Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. Okay, this heard my voice, so we're just a new one. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body is getting hotter than ever. For some reason, I better take more medicine. December 6th, I collapsed today. I lost consciousness and my body got so hot. I didn't care if I die. I just want to get through the show. <clears throat> December 10th, passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If, my, if this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get a lot better. I think I'm going to take a lot of medication tonight. <clears throat> December 11th. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. 
Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. December 17th. It looks like I will be the lead. It better take m- I'd better take more medication and work it. December 23rd. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I will have the solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key? Rehearse key. Alright, here we go. We're going to do this by days, by the way. We're going to do it a day at a time. <clears throat> Oh, I skipped that. Oops. I am... I am... Eve. Ah, I'm getting hot. Newly... Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? Oh. Eve said that. Oops. She's a bumblebee. Once again, the day for mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. Ugh. Uh. Alright, come on, Eve. Show me what you got. <clears throat> Ow, you're only supposed to have 40 health. There we go. Looks like you still need some time, girl. I forgot I was doing a girl's voice for a second. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. What? Where is this? Is that... Is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... The doctor, wait! Mitochondria to be free. Uh, I think it was this one. I missed something in according to the map. Nope. Ah, shit. Ow! (laughs) 
Analyze enemies' HP and weakness. Alright, so it's got to be this one then. Damn it. It's the far bottom one. Far bottom left. This one right here. I knew there was something in here that it wouldn't let me open. Open it, damn it. There we go. You got a rat. <clears throat> Ow. Uh, we get the rat, and then, and then, oh my god, come on, you're showing me that it's here. Okay, I don't understand, why were you not... There it is. We got a better handgun. It says 55 range, 15 attack, and it holds 5 bullets. Rate of fire is still 2. You discard that vest. <clears throat> okay. Now we have to run back down here. Dun, 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 dun. Huh, there's a hole in the floor. And now these rats supposedly drop revives. Pal, dead. Get all kind of ammo. That's good. And more rats. Hopefully not a bird. Nope, frog. Frogs are kind of a pain in the ass, though. Alright, come on. 
So this is what I meant by turn-based strategy. They each enemy gets a shot. They get a chance to hit you. Out the M19 fires three shots. So we replace that with that. And we drop the P220 down there. Um, Head up either side of the stairs and run your way around. All right, two rats. Simple, easy. Out that one's that one went for me. I turned toward me here. Yep. Can we hit? Okay, only three. Alright, level six. Yay, we got revives. Good. There's two chests down there. Head back down. Head back down and go this way. Okay, so we need to get those chests. What? You're the little girl I saw at the theater. Are you lost? Alright, she runs through that door. We're not supposed to follow her yet. Wait, little girl. Don't go. Emma. Um, we have nothing we can drop in there. So let's go over here. Offense, plus two. Um, Apparently there's, yeah, a hidden room here. I don't know what's in there, but we're going to switch for a medicine. A cure. Okay, a cure poison. We'll take that. Let's put the cure poison in there. Range plus two. We can use that. Use that and the offense plus two. And what's over here? Offense plus one. So see, we can use that as well. Make the M19 powerful. There we go. <sighs> Come on. Oh, there we go. Froggies! Alright, one dead. You wanna stay? Yeah, you wanna stay out of the way of the front of the frogs. Ch 
Chuck Chow. Got more ammo. There's an emergency switch on a phone. We're going to use the phone to save our progress. Pow, 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 pow. File saved. Okay, now we're going to press the switch and open the gate. Okay, so there's a boss fight coming up. Hold it right there. My body my body's getting hot again <laughs> Aya's ready to take me on just by herself well even if you dared to have more people with you they just burn right everyone everyone else but you you are tell me Eve why why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out eventually. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. I'm going to give you some time. Some time to think and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. You know what they say about the sewers of New York? They've got alligators in them. <clears throat> this one just happens to be an electric alligator. Okay, tails out of commission now. There we go, both spots over. <clears throat> so 
It's not a hard boss fight at all. It's more annoying than anything. When will I awaken? Just tell me what you want, Eve. Yeah, Eve, just tell her what you want. We're here, live in front of the Carnegie Hall, which has become the scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are able, you are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by a cult enthusiast. Please, just leave me alone. This incident has happened to take place on Christmas Eve, of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview your, you exclusively. Are you crazy? Jim, did you get that on tape? Scaram, buddy. Daniel. Sorry, I'm late. I, uh... Hey, uh, you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes, but my date. Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, sorry, date didn't go well. <clears throat> it's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? There's a story. Ha! So, why the opera, huh? Is that the end thing right now? Saw an ad in the paper. I don't know. Just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were on this... Don't tell me you were on to this case. Ha ha! So, you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Instinct. Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria. Mitochondria. Symbiosis. When was I in the hospital? Hey, hey, uh, you asleep? Oh well. Don't blame you after what you've been through tonight. Let me just shift gears in this automatic police car. It all started with this incident, six days that were to become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. Day two, fusion. Day one, so day one is done. We will be back with day two some other time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for the support. If you liked it, 
hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Game on, everyone.